Let's put, all right, excuse me, yeah. So in effect, uh, my dad has thrown a bunch of books onto my bed, going, oh, I threw all your books on the bed because you shouldn't be in my room. And I said that they're not my books. Yeah, like, these books, either I've bought them or someone has bought them for me. But I do not consider them as my books anymore. I have read all of these years ago. And I have given them to my mum. Sorry, he's, he, he's not giving a fuck about these. Like, it's something that was are precious. And the cat should be worth some money. Uh, so I'm just trying to make sure that all the expensive ones aren't being crushed by the other ones. All the, all the expensive ones are just the comics, the other ones. I mean, books aren't expensive. It's actually fucking Tottenham on top of the shoulder. Look. It's got Lucifer. He buried Lucifer on top of, like, well, Harry Potter, James Patterson. The only, as far as I know, the only book Thomas Harris published that wasn't Hannibal Lecter. Also, I Zombie. Um, Dr. Maximum, Ride Walking Dead, Agatha Christie. A lot of these books are shit. Like, I didn't even put the good books on top of them. So, I saw this when I was scrolling. Oh, by the way, I the eventually was saying. These books I consider as my mum's because my mum. She hasn't decided if she wants to read or not, but there's some that I would say she definitely would want to read, like Dexter. She's seen the show. I would say she'll love it because, you know, she's, she's seen all of it, including the reboot. Um, like she'll want to read Dexter, probably Harry Potter, Hannibal, a couple of Axe Cross in there. Anyway. So if I search up the film I'm going to review today, and I saw this, it might, like, might recommend it on Google. Please tell me Quentin Tarantino says to not watch The Matrix. Let's see. Okay, it's Matrix 2 and 3, that's fine. Scream. You have a problem with Scream. What? I have yet to see Scream, but I'm excited for it. Hunger Games. I mean, I seen it years ago. I can't remember much, but I do remember liking it. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is a good film on MCU because no, uh, you don't look at all. A school on Monday the nineteenth of December twenty twenty two. And that's a part two there. So um, <coughs> like the first three periods we. We're in a talk with some guy who, if he's telling the truth, honestly, he deserves to have a movie about his life because he's, like, he's been pissed on, he's been bitten by fucking Yoda. Just crazy stories, and it's supposed to be like, oh, we'll talk about revision, but most of it was just him talking about himself. I'm, I'm not calling him, like, a, an arrogant prick or anything like that. Just, you know... There was a tip you get for revision, and I've heard this tip before because I seen a video on like how the like one of the you know someone who's recited the not not the most but like second or third place in reciting the decimals of pi. The way he remembers the numbers is like he, he builds up like a fucking story around it. Like he when when he's reciting, he like in his head he thinks about this house and in this house he's got like objects and like oh uh three cats and they all have four tails all together or something and this guy's like uh he had a poster of like a football team and he'd put his english work on a scottish player in that team because that scottish guy hates england and he's so he's like yeah it's ironic Put his geography work on another guy and stuff like that. His sister did the same thing with Green Day albums. I can't do that. Because one, I live in a tiny room. Sorry, I'm excited against my entire house, but no. My my room itself is tiny. I can't do that. 
and there's no like I would have to tear down my posters and even then there's not a, there wouldn't be enough space to do all that because it does seem massive if, if he's doing that. Um What? what? <coughs> oh, it's fucking the dust, I guess. Sorry, let me move these up. The other end. There you go. Uh, idiot? Oh, no, not yet. Um, in media, we watched. Black Mirror, Shut Up and Dance. But we didn't even finish it. Got like, there was only four minutes left and he didn't finish it. And he probably was like, but well, that's the end. Why would happens in the end? He was watching CP. Yeah, we are usually watching CP. We got past that bit. We guys arrested and stuff. No, we fucking didn't. We got to the bit where, you know, you see everyone who was taking part of Spoilers for Shut Up and Dance, but you know, you see everyone who, who took part in whatever you want to call it, the activation. You know, you had the CEO who, you know, she had to plant the car, but she was still exposed to her racist emails. You had the guy who, I don't I actually, I didn't actually hear what happened because I think the teacher was talking as it was revealed. Uh, the the driver guy, you know, he was part of prostitute and <coughs> main characters walking after killing the other guy, um, and you know, they were it was just about to reveal what he'd done, and the teacher paused it. That was it. Anyway, ideography, mixed ratings. I watched on Disney Plus. Luke Wilson, Maya Rudolph, Dak Shepard, Terry Crews, Andrew Wilson, David Herman. Thomas Hayden Church. Tom Kenny, it's good. Um, what the hell is this? Something under my bed. Oh Christ! Even more books that he's fucking piled one on top of each other. But and fucking Hannibal Rising is basically destroyed because my brother decided to put it, put the fucking TV on top of it. Uh, Gone Girl, World War Z, whatever this is. More Dexter. He's put, he's put all this shit on top of Chew. And there's more comics than he's Chew. What? Let's see what he's running. Chew. Sandman. Flashpoint. What else? Yep, there's more stuff here. Uh, fucking atomic blonde. Sony Books is actually pouring off my bed like water. Wait, I think I've got everything. Let me just check. Yes, I've got everything. Jesus Christ. Let me, let me check under my bed, see if there's anything else. That he's left under here because he doesn't give a fuck and he doesn't want me to you know, preserve my books. It's by the fact he says he wants me to preserve my books. Okay, that's it. So, uh, my mum was watching part of it with me she said it looks very cheap and she might say it was she might think it was bad and I don't have a problem with her thing it was bad because it's you know the whole point of it is that you're a guy with average intelligence average looks average everything 
he gets frozen for like 500 years uh, because society has become so stupid. By default, he ends up becoming the smartest man alive. And you can't... It's impossible to have a... A film about stupid people. And... Like, it's all about stupid people. So the film has to be stupid. Because it, it would be impossible to make a stupid... A film about stupid people that is smart. <laughs> but this... Like, I appreciated it because I was introduced to it from Paul and he was, he was talking about stupid people are becoming and he used this as an example because like song lyrics and shit is getting terrible and like I I actually drove up to school today and like I had a feeling they're going to be playing that fucking that new Taylor Swift song that I keep on getting asked for and you should because she's not partnered with YouTube or something and it's like oh we need it like and say, YouTube want to do this because they want their, their own exclusive YouTube trends instead of TikTok trends, like, fucking Antihero, whatever it's called. I don't know the lyrics to Antihero. I know that it's like, it's me, hi, I'm the one, it's me, or something, and I actually fucking... Jack Antonoff wrote the song. And I like Jack, Jack Antonoff, which is a shame because he's writing a bunch of shit recently. So, you know, Paul used Idiocracy as an example because it's more becoming more like Idiocracy. Like, the clips that he's shown, there was a film within Idiocracy called Ass. It's on for 90 minutes. It was nominated for like five Emmys, including Best Screenplay, and it's just 90 minutes of a guy's naked ass, and sometimes he farts. And the, the film has predicted the future a couple of times. Like, I mean, the president in the film is a porn star, and I mean, with Kanye West seeming to be a serious candidate for president in 2024. I don't think we're going to kick in the ass off a porn star being president. I, I know Kanye isn't a porn star, but I'm saying that eventually if some porn star will. <coughs> anyway, this is Twitter as of 29 past 4 p.m. Okay, my mom told me about this this morning. Uh, so Elon said, Should I step down his head of Twitter? I'll, I will abide by the result of this poll. Hmm, really? Let, let's see the results of this poll. Look at that. So, is Elon going to abide by it? No, he is, and he's already proven he's a hypocrite, considering. Uh, I think I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but, uh, you know, doing a Twitter segment, you know, Elon said he's not bringing back Alex Jones for legal reasons, when in reality, he's not bringing back Alex Jones, because Alex Jones disrespected a bunch of dead children. Elon's child died 20 years ago, which, while that is a shame, you know, he's being biased, he's being a hypocrite. He said he bring free speech on Twitter, but it's, for him, it's free speech for thee. No, sorry, free speech for me, but not for thee. So, is he going to step down, despite the fact that the majority have voted that yes, he should, and he said he's going to? He will not step down. I want to see more journalists dunked on though. You think Steve M. Murray here with that is says, let's get this out into a tray when he's about to eat pussy. The rules are so vague, you can get banned for anything, which is probably the point. It is the point. Well, they're all say, nice saying the exact same shit we've been saying for the last six years. Jimmy Clarkson criticized my daughter for comments about Megan. One of the wondrous joys social media brings is the opportunity for children to publicly throw their own parents under a bus. Detest low pay. We should detest poor accommodation and poor working conditions. And that is something that we can never ever accept. Just talk about the fucking football. In this region, 
or in any region. And it is just worth mentioning that we've got a current government in our country who are demonising rail workers, ambulance workers and terrifyingly nurses. So in our country we've got to look at workers' rights, but certainly when football goes now we have to make sure we pick up on workers' rights wherever it goes because people have got to be equal and they've got to be treated equal. We can't have people being paid an absolute pittance to work. We can't have people in accommodation which is... No, oh, everyone needs to be equal, which you say in Qatar. Because the problem is that, you know, uh, do we support the Muslims? Do we support the gays? Oh, well, we've decided to support the gays, and yes, we're getting criticism for it because the Muslims hate the gays. Which he says, when we just find out it's powerful black, we've been telling you that for years. And keep on trying to protest. No, support the gays. We, there's nothing wrong with the gays, which wouldn't go that far, but it's just, it's a it's a cultural thing. It's not like it's not, <coughs> it's, a, it's part of their culture. It's not part of their personality. Unsavory and disgusting. We can't have that. That shouldn't happen here with the wealth that exists. But it shouldn't happen in our country that our nurses are having to fight for an extra pound or an extra two pounds either. Uh, detest. Low. Again, everyone's taking the biscuit here. I thought he was paid by TV to do football punditry. He was paid a big fat check by the same Qatari government responsible for everything he's been laboriously, laboriously, whatever, whining about. 2017. Just. 2017 to 2021, just follow the TOS rule bigger. 2022, these suspensions for TOS violations are arbitrary, political, stifle free speech, are an affront to democracy and unprecedented fascism. Those voting yes better be careful what they wish for, given the name circulating, if they will replace him. Well, who will, will replace him? Because whoever that person is, they're not going to replace him. Elon is not stepping down, Paul. British schoolboy hospitalised after attack by 10 strong masked Asian gang as one of them. So, reverse the identities of the fake number of perpetrators, and this would be a national news story top headlines. White child in Sadat Khan's wall was London 2022. Jack Dawson Telegram. Hollywood put more abortion plot lines on his TV shows in 2022 than any of the past five years. Sewer pipe of anti human filth. <coughs> Elon has set a step down Twitter CEO after he promised to abide by the results of a poll. Final results, which Twitter majority of responders desiring the same give up the platform. He's not gonna fucking do it, Paul. Uh, really dark in a weird way. I can't fully wrap my head around. This what Heather wanted. The white supremacy white dream. What the fuck are you talking about? What exercise? Uh, right. See, to be honest, I what I I thought that like it it was this mum going on the bike. Uh, she's so thin that she's actually de-aging and then switches gender and becomes the baby. I, I, I thought that's what this was supposed to be. Her turn for this. Uh, fucking stupid. That's all I can say. In between false claims about the economy and the border, Joe Biden fills in many of his appearances of stories about himself that are just completely made up. Hey, his VP does the same thing. This week, the border crisis said they exploded into a full-on catastrophe as Title 42 is rescinded. 
and thousands of migrants currently waiting to attempt entry to the US will surge crossing points. After a alleged victim of the deceased elite pedophile of Jeffrey Epstein has claimed that she has digital copies of blackmail sex tapes Epstein made of his associates. Oh dear, I've rather put my foot in it. In a column I wrote by Megan, I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones, and this has gone down badly with a great many people. I'm horrified they have caused so much hurt, and I should be more careful in the future. No! Why? Why? Why even patent with them? I hate you and have your capacity for forgiveness, apologizing only ever emboldens their demented mob mentality. Ger like Jeremy Clarkson apologizing. He's one of the last people I ever would have expected to apologize for anything. 